What's going on guys, Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care, and today was another glorious day in my world. Really just meaning that I got mowing done and made tall grass short. But yeah guys, what's going on? How's it going? How you doing? Been a minute or two. Now before I get this video started, the awesome people over at Aaron's and Gravely sent me out a set of those self-sharpening laser edge Stay Sharp blades. I've had them on the Gravely Pro Stance 52 for about 200, 250 properties. They've been on there. So, haven't sharpened them once. And something I can say right now from where I'm at with the mower, with these blades on it, Honestly, it's still cutting really, really, really good. They are a little bit different of a design than what I usually use. I like the notched three inch high blades, like the Skag replacement blades. Those notched high lift blades work really good for what we're mowing, which is stuff like this. A lot of rye, blue, tall fescue. It gets tall fast and it's real floppy. But I am actually pleasantly surprised on how well these laser sharp blades are cutting for the different style of blade that they are. Now I am gonna take them off here in a little bit so I can show you guys. Cause I'm sure a lot of you guys are just like me and you're curious on if they actually work. And like I said, 200 to 250 properties on these blades right now. And uh, yeah, I don't feel like they necessarily need to be sharped when I did uh, reach under there to kind of feel if they were sharp. They weren't as sharp as I thought they would be, but they're still cutting really good. So let's go ahead, pull this off. I'm gonna zip these blades off and show you the difference between the style of two blades that I usually use. And let's look and see if these are still sharp. Cause I do know a lot of you guys that are using these blades, you're using them in the south. You got them sandy soils, them high abrasive soils that just kind of destroy your blades. Here, a lot of clay, a lot of good soil. I don't really have a lot of sand and stuff. And I do notice under these laser sharp blades, there's almost like a layer of something that may help keep the blade sharp or sharpen the blades as they get abrasive. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take them off and see if it's been sharpening or is there an issue with maybe in my area since my soil isn't as harsh. Maybe it doesn't get that sharpening effect, but let's take them off and let's find out. All right, so and again, I'm gonna remind you guys, I did this for the sake of science. I just took the blades off the mower and you will not believe the amount of crap I have packed under this deck. I've gotten a lot of it out. It's on the ground as you can see. Like look at that big chunk right there. <laughs> but yeah, it is a complete disaster under there. But again, that's 100% my fault. I do my blades every single week. At the end of every week, they get sharpened, I scrape the deck out. But having something like these on there, where you just kind of go, okay, they're self-sharpening blades, I don't have to worry about taking them off, okay. But your deck is still gonna get completely gunked up with stuff. So if you're not into that maintenance schedule, like I'm saying I would do it every week, this is what? Almost a month, like a little bit less than a month of these blades just being on this mower and me not even touching it and it's packed under there. So that's something you guys may wanna think about if you're wanting blades like this. If it's one of those things for maintenance to be out of sight, out of mind, you're still gonna to have to clean under your mowing deck if you want the correct su suction and to prevent them from getting super corroded and rusting out. You're definitely gonna to need to still do that. But let's go ahead and check these blades out. All right guys, and what you see right here on the ground is what we would call lawn mower blades. These are the two that I just took off the mower. These are my Sten's notched replacement high lift blades. They are a thinner blade, a little less weight, so it takes some of that extra effort out of the mower as far as generating that engine power into the blades. And then I got these notched high lift blades that are wider, thicker, and they are definitely heavier but as far as suction goes, those things kill it. But they do bog the mower down a little bit. They are a very, very heavy blade. But just looking at the difference, you can see these are not notched in any way. And if you take one, you can kind of see they taper down towards the end as far as all these are completely flat. All right, guys, I'm back in a little bit different location. My lighting was horrible. So these are the blades that came off the mower. These are those laser sharp 
blades as you can see on the bottom there they have a little some sort of coating that i think is supposed to help sharpen the blades but i'm gonna tell you guys something these things are as dull as dull can get completely rounded on the edge and i don't know if these blades are meant like i said for those more aggressive areas with the sandy soils to help keep them sharp because they go dull so fast but dude these are not sharp at all i don't know how my mower was still cutting quite as good as it was it was cutting pretty decent not enough for me to be like oh okay i need to sharpen these but you could kind of tell after that many properties i was impressed on how well they were cutting but man as dull as dull can get i don't even know if you guys will be able to tell that but those those aren't sharp at all and there's definitely some nicks in it there's a couple spots obviously where i guess i hit something could have been a tree root could have been you know anything but for the little tiny bit of lift these have compared to some of my other blades these did a really good job of picking up the grass cutting it and getting it out of there i was really surprised on how well these were doing for my area but as far as them staying sharp these aren't and honestly i have no idea if i'm even supposed to sharpen these or not but i'm going to go ahead and sharpen them just to do it i guess i don't know if you're supposed to but i'm going to do it so i went ahead and grabbed the other blade this one actually came out of the middle of the mower and you can still see that uh maybe i don't know if i can get that locked on there or not but uh definitely some nicks in that blade where stuff has been hit but yeah dude completely dull there is nothing sharp about these not even kind of completely rounded and yet they were still cutting rather well kind of strange but dude these are rounded like a ballpoint bin they definitely need to be sharpened all right guys and just got back from downstairs sharpening these it didn't take much at all to get these back to where they needed to be as far as sharp goes but if you're going to make the claim that these are self sharpening blades after 250 properties these were as dull as any other blades would have been after that many properties so i don't know if i didn't put the game genie in my lawnmower or the game shark to get these to sharpen themselves correctly but in my neck of the woods they didn't sharpen themselves at all it didn't take much to get these back too sharp at all and i will be throwing these back on the mower to check on them after a week's worth of mowing so i don't know maybe if they were just dull from the factory or whatever but uh yeah, I didn't activate that self-sharpening cheat code at all. So yeah, guys, that's really just my two cents on these laser sharp, what are they called? Self-sharpening blades, laser edge, whatever. Uh, I don't dislike them. I think they cut rather good, very similar to what I was using before, but I was really hoping that they would be self-sharpening. That's why I did this scientific test of me not even scraping my mower deck for almost a month, and it is horrible. Like, I gotta get all this out of there. But I'm going to check on them after a week, keep the deck cleared, and just see if something changes. I don't know if it will, but they're sharp now. We're going to put them back on there, and I'll check back within like a week, a week and a half, and we'll see if there's any difference, which I don't think there will be. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Like always, I appreciate it, man. Your guys' views mean a lot to me. Your likes and your comments mean a lot to me, and your subscriptions also mean a lot to me. I do appreciate that. And shout out to the people over at Gravely and Aaron's for sending these blades out to me, because after talking with him, he didn't know much about them either. He was just saying a couple people down south like them. They sharpen. I'm going to tell you this much. In my area, they do cut good, but I don't know the cheat code to get these things to sharpen themselves, but we got to figure that out. So like always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for checking this video out. If you guys know anything about these laser edge self-sharpening blades, something I may be missing that I'm not aware of, I just threw them on the mower and went with it, man. I didn't even research them. Just went with them. They're supposed to sharpen themselves. In my opinion, they did not. If I'm missing something, leave it in the comments down below and let me know, because I would love if these things sharpen themselves. That would be so cool. But like always, guys, I'm out. I appreciate you. I love you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace. Check your body, check your body, check your body.